In this video, we'll take a look at how you can recover files if they've been deleted from your computer. And if you've gone into the recycle bin and see the files are not there, then you might think they're gone. But not to worry, there's still a chance you may be able to recover these depending on if they've been overwritten. To do this, we're going to download a piece of software called Recover, which will be able to scan a hard drive for deleted files. So let's open a browser. And here in Google, I'm going to search for Recover. If you scroll down a little, you can see the website for ccleaner.com. So let's click on this link for download Recover. Here, we'll download the free version. Just scroll down the page and click free download. And download again. This will start the download. Once that's downloaded, let's open the folder where it's located. And let's run the setup file for the application. Then install. Once the setup is completed, we'll run Recover. First, untick the release notes. The Recover wizard will load and will give you options on how you want to recover your files. Select Next. Here you can select the type of files you want to recover. For this, I'm going to select All Files. For the file location, select where you want to try and locate files. I'm going to stick with the first option, which is I'm not sure. So this will go off and search everywhere on this computer. Select next. I'm going to select the enable deep scan option. This goes through the entire hard drive to find files. Selecting this is a far more thorough method and can take a lot longer to run. So select start and let this run. As I've selected the deep scan, this could take a while so we'll leave that to run. Okay, the scan's completed and as you can see it's taken just over 47 minutes to run and it's discovered 192,000 files. If you scroll down the list, you can see it's discovered different types of files and each of the files are represented by a green, orange or red coloured dot which indicates what state the file is in. Green shows the file is in an excellent state and it says that the file hasn't been overwritten on the hard drive. Orange shows that the file is in a poor or a very poor state, so the chances of recovering these are not great. You can also see that most of the files show as being overwritten with another file. Red will show that files are unrecoverable. With all red coloured files, it will always show the files as being overwritten. If you have a look in the top right hand corner of the application, you can see switch to advanced mode. Let's select that. This allows you to specify the drives, file types and the file names you want Recover to search for. Using the search feature, I'm just going to do a search for text files here. So let's search down the list and I'll look for a file to recover. I'll go with this new text document text file. It's shown as green and in an excellent state so I'll tick the box on the left hand side and recover. I'm going to restore it to the desktop. It will give you a warning asking if you want to restore to the same drive. It will ask you this as it doesn't know if you have issues with your hard drive or if the drive is on its way out. I've checked my hard drive and it's in good condition, so I'll go ahead and recover to the desktop. That's completed the restore. Select OK and we'll check the file on the desktop to see if it contains any data. So there's data in the text document, but it's only for an old Zoom meeting, but as you can see, it's recovered the whole file successfully, and the data within the document was still intact. So let's go back to recover a different file. This time I'll do a search for JPEG files. If you select a file, it will normally give you a preview of the file on the right hand side of the screen. As you can see, a red colored file is unrecoverable, hence no preview. So let's scroll through the list and have a look for a file to recover. Most orange files are still in a poor state with most being overwritten. Even this green file is showing no preview. Let's go further down. 
Okay, so this green file here is showing a successful preview on the right hand side. So let's go ahead and recover this file. We'll recover to the desktop again. Say yes to the prompt. So that's recovered the file. So let's go ahead and take a look. You can see the file on the desktop. So let's open it up. As you can see, it successfully recovered the image. From this recovery method, not all files are recoverable, as most of them have been overwritten, but you should still be able to recover files from your computer using Recover. So I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe for more tutorials.